The threat of skimmers is a very real problem here in Florida. In fact, state in inspectors are on pace this year to find them in about 1,000 gas pumps across the state. That's up from more than 650 pumps last year and nearly 220 in 2016. Already this year, 200 skimmers have been found in South Florida. And here at home, skimmers were discovered on three pumps at one Sunoco gas station on Cassett Avenue back in May. So as we told you last hour, there are some ways to protect yourself. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson now shows us how gas stations are protecting their customers. Scammers put some skimmers on the pumps here at this gas station on the west side. They've been fixed since, but I'm told by management it's so subtle, so hard to detect, they didn't know until someone gave them a call. The card readers are all new here at the Cassett Avenue Sunoco. The manager tells me they're state-of-the-art and skimmers won't work, but they recognize nothing is totally secure, so every day they check their card readers, tugging on them to make sure there's no false front and that the security tape has not been broken. In fact, that's what I found at eight more gas stations all over town. Workers are checking these card readers daily. Workers at the Shell station on Normandy tell me they're required to check the readers each shift. This is a relief to drivers who are worried what could happen. Just pray and swipe. <laughs> what can you do? I mean, it's everywhere. I usually swipe my car when I go through. Uh, I mean, how can you check for it? I mean, it's inside, so how can you check for it? Other than your statement. The State Department of Agriculture will come down hard on a gas station that ignores the problem and doesn't address it quickly. The Ag Department website says either the security tape or an electronic security measure should be available on all pumps. And any pump without a security measure or with an altered or damaged security measure shall have five calendar days to comply with the above requirement. And at this West Side Sunoco, the owner tells me they think that they are pretty secure and no one can hack this, but they know technology is always changing and that may change someday. On the west side, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. So if you're victimized, contact your bank and credit card company right away so they can freeze your account and begin an investigation. Yeah, in some cases, you may be protected from any loss. That's really up to each individual financial institution. Now, coming up in the next hour, we have a technology expert in studio to talk about some of the options that you have to protect yourself and how concerned you should be that a skimmer is on the next pump where you fill up. You know, another thing that I've heard is, Always run your card as credit as opposed to debit. That, because uh, usually yes. with the credit card, you've got more protection. Way more protection. Absolutely. That's absolutely true.